try and something new and I bit of extra editing, checking in a photo. There's a second photo. Bit of audio on top as well. Wallop. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I don't have a funny name for it, it is just Nate Peterson. Um if I did have an ounce of creativity, I would come up with something. I love wordplay, I love puns, but I just I just can't come up with anything that's suitably interesting like um my good friend David Goss, whose channel is Gostianity, please go and subscribe. Um, he's got a couple of very, very funny videos up there, so if you haven't yet, please go over there and um, seek him out. Um, today is just going to be a very, very quick vlog. I just wanted to essentially thank Mr. Michael Jameson, one of my other Fruck cohorts. Uh, founder of Fruck, let's not play him down. He's the, he's the founder, owner, creator, whatever, god of Fruck. I want to thank him for providing some art for my channel, as hopefully some of you may have noticed, and if not, hopefully you will now notice. I've got a new avatar and also a new uh, banner for the channel. I asked Michael uh, MJ to his friends if he could come up with something that was a bit retro, uh, something you know from the eighties esque, uh, basically because that's you know my you know the decade that I grew up. You know, I was I was born in uh, I was born in seventy nine, so I'm a seventies child technically. You know, 80s is, you know, when I was coming up, coming up in the world. Uh, so I just felt it was fitting, especially given, obviously, both of those guys, you know, are in, are in their 20s as well. So, uh, you know, it sort of shows that I'm a little bit older, I guess. Plays into the whole retro feeling. Dad of the group, shall we say. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what he did as well, which was amazing, without me telling him, without him knowing... Is one of the designs he came up with, which is the one I picked. Uh, the background, obviously, is you know it's an, an orange ball with a uh, city background. Not the city so much, but the colouring is um, well. It's quite similar to the logo design of uh, that that uh, Daniel Caruso. I think I've got his name right. Daniel's son wears in Karate Kid. Uh, it's not exactly like that. That's completely different in terms of like I think it's a dragon and stuff like that. But it's sort of as soon as I or it might actually be a bonsai tree because Mr Miyagi snips the old bonsais, doesn't he? Snips the old bonsai. It sounds like a euphemism. Um, yes. So without knowing it, he sort of kind of played into uh, something that was in a my, one of my favourite films of all time, Karate Kid. Amazing. Uh, swoop the leg. Johnny, don't sweep the leg, Johnny, because you'll only get kicked in the face for it. Metaphor for life. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. It, this was supposed to be fresh very quick, and it's turned into now how much I love Karate Kid. Best film ever. If you've never seen it, watch it. Don't watch the Jackie Chan one with Willow Smith. That's the girl. Um, yeah, watch the original one with uh, Ralph Macchio and uh, the guy who plays Mr. Miyagi. Please watch it. Incredible film. But yeah, thank you. This is this is just me trying to say thank you to Michael Jameson for giving me the beautiful art. Um, actually, now that I think of it, I'm probably going to try and start this video with, with pictures of it. So if you've made it this far into the video, you probably would have seen it even if you hadn't actively gone to look for it. don't know how that works. But anyway, that that was all I was going to say. I am going to do another vlog in a, in a short while about something else, but uh, I'll upload that one separately because who wants to see too much of me? Thank you uh, again for watching. Uh, thank you for continuing to watch and subscribing. And you know, if you've enjoyed this, please throw a little like. It makes my day when I see a little thumbs up. Don't do the thumbs down because that doesn't give me quite as yeah good feeling. Although. If I've moved you negatively, at least I'm doing something right. That's, I think, what Oscar Wilde said. <laughs>